Hello everyone, my name is Mrs Nichols and this is the second of three videos called Music Making at Home and School. This session is called Who's Who at Hogwarts with activities that use the rhythms of some of the characters' names. All you need today is some paper and a pen and pencil. So let's pause the video for a moment while you go and find those two items. We're going to start by singing a song about these characters and I think you'll probably know the tune. It's the Okie Koki. The song has several verses so even if the melody is unfamiliar you'll pick it up fairly easy. Now this isn't a literacy lesson but there is always an overlap between subjects and it's worth pointing out that the lyrics contain rhyme pairs that have been chosen very carefully to create interest. You'll see what I mean. The song starts after the introduction. One, two, up we go. We know of three good friends at Hogwarts School. They learn a lot of magic and the spells are really cool. There's Harry and Hermione and not forgetting Ron. Three friends who all get on. They solve some tricky puzzles, even though one is a muggle. Beating Voldemort's a struggle, but Harry's friends will always win. Now young Hermione is really bright. She's confident and brainy and she gets the answers right. She worries over Harry, she gets furious with Ron. She's a phenomenon. Her head is full of brain cells. She knows some really good spells. She's dropped some magic bombshells. So Harry's friends will always win. Now Ron is keen to help and tries so hard to save his special friend he even drove the magic car. He's loyal and hot-tempered and a Weasley through and through. His friendship's always true. His wand is often broken. He messes up each potion. His views are quite outspoken. But Harry's friends will always win. But Harry is the star. He fights for good. He's had a brush with Voldemort and won. We knew he would. His scar is often painful and he misses mum and dad. Sometimes he's really sad. Rolling such a super plotter. So we cheer for Harry Potter. Voldemort's a scabby rotter. And Harry's friends will always win. Well done. After missing so much singing this year, it's good to have a proper vocal workout. Remember that you can rewind the video at any point to revisit an activity. So why not replay the song and invite some of your family to join in. The second part of today's session focuses on composing using the rhythmic patterns of some of those characters' names. I'm going to say each one as I clap their rhythm, so please copy them back like an echo. Here I go. One, two, off I go. Harry Potter. Voldemort. Hagrid, Snape. Notice that although Snape is a one syllable word, it actually lasts for two beats. So to clap that rhythm, I fold the fingers of one hand over the other for that second beat, like this Snape, Snape. You need to be very confident about recognising these names and their matching patterns. So now I'm going to say and play two names, one following straight after the other, like this. 
Voldemort Hagrid. And I'd like you to echo each phrase saying and clapping it back. Let's begin with an introduction. One, two, off I go. Harry Potter Voldemort. One, two, off I go. Voldemort Snape. One, two, off I go. Hagrid, Harry Potter. One, two, off I go. Hagrid, Snape. Now find that piece of paper and your pen or pencil. I'm going to lead a quick rhythm quiz based on what we've covered. Look at the screen and you'll see that I've created letter codes for each character. Just read through them now to familiarise yourself with them. You can also see an example of how to write down a rhythm when you hear it. So if I clap, you write down HG plus V. I'm going to play each rhythm three times to give you plenty of time to work out each one and then write it down. You can always invite a family member to help you. Now, are you ready? Here's that first rhythm phrase, two names joined together and you're going to identify them by writing down those codes. I'll do an introduction each time and give you a chance by playing three times. Here's the first one. One. Two, off we go. Here it comes again. One, two, off we go. Here's the third time and final time. One, two, off we go. Here's the second rhythm for the first time. One, two, off we go. Here it comes for the second time. One, two, off we go. And for the third and final time. One, two, off we go. Here's the last rhythm. For the first time, one, two, off we go. Here's that rhythm for the second time, one, two, off we go. And for the final time, one, two, off we go. Now you can always rewind if you want to listen again before the answers pop up on the screen. I wonder how many you got right. Well, here are the answers. Now, let's look at those rhythms written in staff notation. That's the term used to describe the way that most composers and instrumentalists write and read music. Here on the screen, you can see the four characters' names and four examples of staff notation. I want you to be a music detective and work out which rhythm matches each name. Here's a useful clue. Think about the number of syllables in each name and those clapping pattern we've been using. I'll give you a minute to work the puzzles out and then the answers will appear on the screen.
Did you manage to match them? I'm sure that wasn't too great a challenge. Now your final task is to read and clap the phrases written in notation and then write down the two names in each one. Pause the video while you work out these last four music puzzles. And here are the answers. Were you successful? I hope so. If you have time, make up your own coded rhythm phrases, but this time use all four names in your phrase. You could try writing them in notation if you wanted to, or as I say, just use the code letters. Here's an example at the bottom of your screen. Good luck everyone and happy music making.